leader of um, the Fulani Social Cultural Group, yeah, said there was nothing wrong with the Muslim Muslim ticket. The presidential candidates of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, adopted for the 2023 election. Of course, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, Fulani, S men, or whatever they call themselves, or the whatever, whether they call him Yezi Allah. And uh, Murik, oh my goodness, there's so much, there's so much, they are so happy, you know. They are so happy and they are, you know, so they are rejoicing because of this. They are entitled to their opinion. Well, the problem is the problem is the people who are calling on Fulani and attributing everything negative to the race because uh, the Miesi Allah leader was asked that uh, as he recently had a policy dialogue and cultural day festival in Abuja on how to end headers farmers clashes have there been positive results in this direction that was the question that was put to him and he said the problem is the people who are calling on fulani and attributing everything negative to the fulani race after the conference i try to bring all fulani you together i try to bring them closer to security agencies to teach them patriotism and the need to be law abiding and the need to respect authorities and leadership that they should also know that they are important and people care for them. We also told them on the need to carry out their civic responsibilities, like obtaining their voters' cards and be ready to vote during elections. Now, if you go to our headquarters, you can see they are being issued with voters' cards. This is the first time this is happening. Oh, since after the conference, we have not received any reports of SME fighting farmers if you go to the south. Okay, so you have not heard, but before now, they were fighting farmers. Now you are accepting to the fact that until when you call them, they have now stopped. But before now, you never agreed to the fact that hey, they, are the, they have been fight, fighting uh, farmers. Yeah, if you go to the south, if you see people who want to steal cows from the headers, it is different from clashes between headers and farmers. Nothing concerns innocent farmers with banditry, tramadol, and use of other illicit drugs. It is the same thing with the Fulani who are inside bushes and forests. There's nothing that concerns the concerns them with banditry, drug abuse. But the problem is that some people are joining or linking the banditry happening to Fulani. If you people go to Russell Fulani Katsu and it's resulted in a fight, it is different from Headers, farmers fight. Farmers and headers do have little misunderstanding and they easily say to it, really? Which me you call it mis- little misunderstanding? I think uh, you should have a Gumi and Eru fight because these ones are confirmed. Even the governor of a uh, Castina State, Masari, has come out several times to allude to the fact that the people who are causing mayhem, that ninety percent majority of them are, are full of any headsmen. And I didn't hear any of you come out to debunk that or to attack him. And a lot, and another question was put to him that there's a lot of insecurity everywhere. Terrorists attacking Kuje prison, 40 soldiers killed in Niger State, brigades of guard soldiers being killed. Some say the president has not even done much because the full army might be involved. What is your take on this? And he said, God will punish those or anyone linking these atrocities to the full army. They are saying this because a Buhari is a Fulani. What we forget is that these countries that have borders with Nigeria, Chad, Niger, or Niger, Mali, and Cameroon, and Bazonia have problems. Nigeria is like a mother to all of them. And when these countries are having issues, parts will spill over to Nigeria and we will not have peace. That is what we are witnessing. So anybody linking the Fulani to all these things happening is not only sick, but we also be punished by God. Since the Abuja Cardinal train started to operate, I don't think any pure Fulani man has boarded it. If you carry a pure Fulani in a beaker, he won't feel comfortable, but if you carry him in a rickety, rickety truck, he will be very relaxed. It is a lie. Fulani are not the ones doing all these havocs. Okay, clap for yourself. Do you mean people from other countries are carrying out these attacks? 
we have borders with those countries I have mentioned, and they are sick. Look at Chad, how its president was killed. Would, would that nation not be in crisis? Even in Cameroon, there is a Banzonia fighting to break away. And some challenges the others are facing. Many people who are not Fulani have learned Fulani language and they speak while recording crime scene. People say Fulani are responsible for the crime. I can't even deny the fact that some people who are bent on tarnishing the image of the Fulani can go any length to achieve their purpose. That is why we are trying to bring together Fulani youth to teach them the importance of peaceful coexistence. Teach them how to lead or how they can be going to school and at the same time doing their businesses. The federal government and state government are supposed to do something about Fulani youth. During the last Salah, I was not around, but almost 3,000 Fulani youth came to my house to get to greet me. I don't think that 50% of them have cows. So I'm calling on the government and other agencies to try to help and keep these people busy and gainfully occupied oh my god this man said many many things but i think what i can really deduce from what he's saying that anybody relating or linking terrorists terrorism with a full and men that god will punish them but he's trying to exonerate them oh they know nothing it's just unfortunate and i mean by the people who are coming from all those countries that he mentioned who are they are they not full and they are full and now so what is he talking about well, God will punish those dissociating the Fulanis from terrorism when they are the ones heightening insecurity in the country. God has already punished and exposed Fulani agenda. Kai, keep quiet today, Boko Haram people. Now, will be the problem of this country. God will punish all the Fulanis whose hands are soiled with the blood of the innocents in Nigeria. Their generations to come will never have peace until their blood are shed in return. God will start with you first, Gudeju. The enemies of Nigeria are full and his almighty God will punish and judge you now and forever more and more. You are a deceiver. Even your eyes are full of blood. God will judge you without mercy. God will start from this full animal who is saying otherwise. Cause will never have effect on anyone because you are a liar. Okay, people are just returning the cause back to him, left, right, and center. That this man has not, of course, it is ridiculous and so weird that you'll be hearing this kind of thing from him. That no, they don't, they know nothing about it. My brother was kidnapped on 7th of January 2021 along the Utu Isikwa actor in Abia State on broad daylight by nine Fulani terrorist kidnappers carrying AK 47 rifle. And we paid ransom of 7 million naira on the 14th of January 2021. Bodejo Miyeti Halalida will never experience peace in his life on earth. And that is, this is somebody who has really, you know, experienced uh, this whole thing. I say, when I only say that uh, people who have, who have experienced all this uh, suffering left, right, and center, they have a bad, they will have a better story to tell. And we have people, some people who do not even have this experience, but because they have conscience, you know, when things happen like that, they begin to put themselves in that, in their in that position that it could be me but some people are so heartless because they have not even some people they have not of course like there's nobody just like somebody who is giving this testimony of a uh, what happened to his brother anybody who has had this experience will never you know we believe and we know what is happening we have a better story to tell but some people are so heartless they don't care because it has not happened to them or because they have not experienced some things they were just like, oh, forget it. It's not. It's not true, or it's not. Uh, it's not real, and that's why some people only pray that prayer. Now I think that's the common prayer Nigerians have. Almost all Nigerians have on their lips now that Nigeria will happen to you. When somebody says Nigeria will happen to you, you know what it means. So guys, let's know your thoughts on what Bodejo has said.